Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're building a four car GPU mining rig. All right guys, so today we're building a mining rig and with that we're using the Mining Cave 4X GPU mining rig frame as well as a Gigabyte 270D3 motherboard. We're using a Intel G4400 CPU on it and Crucial Ballistic Sports RAM. That's the 2400 version. In addition to that, we are going to be using a basic power switch. We're going to just uh, slide right into here and the EVGA 750 watt PSU Platinum. So there's a lot of card options you can use. Today we're using two 1080 Ti's and two 1070 Minis. This is going to be an ultra efficient, low heat, power efficient build. The best part about this build is that it's one of the best bang for buck and really gonna help you with the long-term investment because it is an incredible soul per watt used. So with that said, I'm using two 1080Ti's and two 1070's. However, you could do this build with four 1060's, four 1070's, whatever you wanna do, and you know use that to fit it to your budget. I'm gonna have a full parts list below of everything, and I'm saying everything I use in this video. So here's the deal. This board does not fit on this frame and that's pretty frustrating. It was plug and play on the other six card and 12 card for me for you know normal sized motherboard in my opinion. And with that, went ahead and I flipped it over. I pulled a couple of the motherboard mounts out and I put these little sticky pieces down and you know I'm just gonna mount the motherboard in here in the middle off two screws. So you can see I went ahead and I just screwed this in pretty uh Pretty simple here. I could turn this upside down. Obviously, uh, no problem here. So, like I said, we're gonna be doing a little bit of fabricating on this rig, but again, no big deal. It's what we do here. Also, if you're looking for an in-depth breakdown on setting up the actual basic parts, like putting a CPU in, installing the RAM, going over some of the basics on the power supply, you know, what PCIe say to whatever, um, check out my how to build a Zen Cache mining rig video. Because I take this, you know, from start to finish and really break this down. Alright, so now that we have the motherboard in, I'm going to be putting the power supply in right here above it, running all the cables, and I'm going to run all the PCIe risers in there as well. And, I mean, pretty simple. I mean, building rigs easy. Don't Installed the PSU, again, just this EVGA 750 watt platinum with these two mounting screws. Use the supplied screws with this uh, frame kit. And I plug the 24 pin motherboard cable and 8 pin CPU cable into the Gigabyte board. As you can see, I just ran them down through here. I'm going to try to tie this up just a little bit, but this is a lot of cable with not really anywhere to go. And again, you know, we're in the CPU cable, just kind of right through it. And you can see it comes out over here and plugs in. This one's good, pretty manageable. The motherboard cable, a little, little extra going on. Next step, took the PCIe risers and I ran them through the other hole that we had available. So I was able to run the uh, wires pretty tight up in here, really just due to their tension. I went ahead and used a zip tie because one cable was hanging a little bit lower and that tied it up and made that pretty uh, pretty easy, good to go. Not you know the craziest in-depth wire management you've ever seen, but I think it looks pretty good and again, when you have a smaller rig like this, it's much, much easier to manage. So we've got it plugged in right here, and I'm going to strap up the power cables, get the cards on, and uh, let's get this party started. Alright guys, so I've got everything wired up now. This rig is officially done if it works. Right now I'm flashing uh, NVOC 17. Even though I mainly use NVOC, I've been using more and more Simple Miner lately just because it's just, it's really nice. You got the little dashboard and yeah, there is a small fee, it's two bucks per rig, but again, you know, it's whatever you'd like to do, your mileage may vary. The more cards you put on a rig, the more beneficial something like that is. With my Trio setup, absolutely not because I've got so many rigs and I'd be jacking up the fees. So again, let's recap. We have the Gigabyte board down here, G4400. We're running the Crucial Ballistics RAM. In addition, we've got the EVGA 750 watt, and then we're running two 1080 Ti's and two 1070 Minis. I get a lot of questions on what 1080 Ti to run. Honestly, I buy whatever is the most cost effective. So if there's a $700 1080 Ti out, I'm going for that. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with how the rig turned out. As you can see, you know, I try to wire things up as good as I could without going OCD on the rig. You know, there's a couple of things that could be tidied up. 
However, with how small the frame is, there's really not much area for these wires to go. I mean, this is kind of it. All right guys, so last night I was about to wrap the rig up and then I ran into an issue that was uh, pretty frustrating, especially at 1.30 a.m. When I turned the rig on, it wouldn't properly boot. I couldn't even get the BIOS. So that's when I knew there was probably a hardware issue. After a little troubleshooting, really just taking this off and taking that off and you know, cussing a little bit and wondering uh, why I'm not asleep yet, I realized that the RAM's bad. Fortunately, I had some spare RAM on hand so I went ahead and swapped that RAM for that RAM and we are good to go and the rig is rocking. This is the first issue I've ever had with uh, Crucial Ballistics RAM. This isn't going to deter me away from it. I'm going to go ahead and start the RMA process and see how that goes and maybe even post a review on, you know, how well or how well they don't get me taken care of. So with the rig pulling 200 watts on the 1080 Ti and 125 watts on the 1070s, I'm getting about 2400 souls. However, I tuned this rig down a little bit because this is just a 750 watt PSU and that was pulling over 750 watt at the wall on this PSU and obviously that's not ideal. So right now I'm running a 180, 180, 120, 120 in the respective cards, 180 for the 1080 Ti's and 120 for the 1070's. This is putting out a very stable and very consistent 2150 souls. So this puts the total power usage of this rig, which is a four card rig, to 740 watts, which with four risers, four cards, that's pretty good. Off oh, with just one 750 watt PSU, you know, you don't have to get a platinum. You can skimp on the PSU and you can get a gold for a pretty cost effective price. But again, I'm a huge advocate of platinum power supplies because eventually you're going to make your money back and then some. And you know, with the way that mining could or couldn't go, one day when you are kind of razor thin profits, that might make the difference of keeping you in business and letting you survive a low period to come back and reap the rewards later on. All right, so Tails says it's time to wrap it up, time to go play a little bit of ball. That's really all there is to it. It's uh, pretty simple and pretty easy to build a mining rig like this. You know, you can do this yourself, so don't be afraid to go ahead and take on this project. Again, this uh, mining rig frame, you know, I like it, it's nice, but I wouldn't recommend this frame over some of their other options due to cost effectiveness and really just the fact that the bottom piece isn't set up for my motherboard, which is really the standard size of motherboards currently. And again, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel.